I had a little bit of time on my hands this afternoon and thought I'd do a demonstration for my class um, in my room today. And what I have here is a stream of water and a styrofoam cup. And I'm, what I'm going to show is um, the effects of an electrical charge. So what I'll do with the styrofoam cup and this, this stack of paper towels, I'm going to put a charge into it. Okay, it's a little bit hard to do with one hand because I have one hand on the camera. I'm really going to try to put a, a charge into this. And now when I place this, <laughs> the styrofoam cup next to the stream of water, you'll see that I can make the stream of water bend. All right, so watch. I can see it bend there. Oh, there it is. That's better. I can really see I can bend that stream of water. And there's a couple of, um, there's one explanation that's really common on the internet, and then there's a better explanation of what's going on here. All right, so um, when this clip is over, stay tuned, and I'll explain. I'll give you both explanations. So we have uh, water bending because of a styrofoam cup. All right, stay tuned for the explanations. Okay, so um, here's a couple of explanations. The first one is the common one that you'll see on YouTube. Here's my styrofoam cup, and I've drawn some electrical charges here. Right? Here's a negative charge, negative charge, negative charge. And um, the common explanation that you'll get on the Internet is that the water molecule, which is... Um, an oxygen and a couple of hydrogens kind of like this so we have an oxygen here we have a hydrogen and we have another hydrogen and it demonstrates or so they say that the molecule is polar is slightly polar meaning that this side of the molecule has a slightly more negative charge and this side of the molecule is slightly positive and so because of that polarity when you get um, something like this where the molecules might line up where the positives are over here positives are over here and maybe the negatives are over here right because you have um, you know the hydrogens maybe the hydrogens over here and the oxygens over here if that makes sense right because we have negative and positive and the stream of water flows and the stream of water flows because the negatives are over here of the cup and the positives are in the stream of water, uh, the opposites attract, and so the stream of water would um, would attract one another because uh, the positives and the negatives would attract each other. Well, that's not quite right, although it's a great explanation, and it does explain polarity of, of, uh, of this, this molecule. However, thank you to Veritasium um, for teaching me the, the real answer to this. And the real answer to this is that <coughs> the stream of water, the stream of water, okay, let's say the stream of water, has ions. And you're going to have all kinds of different ions here. And if I change my color, let's see, maybe white. Um, we have positive ions and negative ions, and positive ions and and negative ions, and positive and negative, and positive and negative, and all kinds of different charges, all going through the H2O. Okay, and if you're in my seventh grade class, you've learned about that. So you have positive and negative ions. When the styrofoam cup comes close to the stream of water, what you end up with, and I'm just going to have to redraw it. Um, let's. What you end up with is a stream of water. Draw it over here a little bit closer. Stream of water with positive and negative ions, mind you. And when it comes close, it will th this negative charge will place the negative charges and repel it. So it might line up on this side, and then it will realign all the positive charges over to this side. And so. The charge of the styrofoam cup really rearranges the ions of the water. And so what you get is the negative kind of pushing away the negatives of the, of the water stream, and the negative charge here attracting the positive charges of the water stream. So now you get the water stream 
that will then that will then kind of bend toward the cup. All right, because of this charge, the positive ions come over here, and the negative ions come over here, and the ions of the water stream realign, and so the water stream attracts itself to the cup. All right, so that's my explanation. Um, hope it wasn't too long and you stuck with it. Thanks.